Bismillahir Rahim. My name is Engineer Vakas Harun. In this video, I will tell you how you can design the vertical curve by using offsets method. In this lecture, we will discuss some additional parameters or properties of the vertical curves. We will start from the offsets, that is, what is offset? Offsets are the vertical distances from the initial tangent to the curve that are mostly used to design and construction of the vertical curve. In this figure, you can see offsets for equal tangent vertical curves. There are three offsets in this figure, that is y, ym, and yf. Y, Y is the offset at any distance X from the PVC in feet or in meters. X is the distance from the PVC in feet or in meters. YM is the mid curve offset in feet or in meters. YF is the offset at the end of the vertical curve in feet or in meters. In this figure, you are viewing from curve left to the right side. So, G1 is known as the initial roadway in percent or you can express it in feet or feet or in meter to meter. This grade is also referred as the initial tangent grade. G G2 is the final roadway grade in percent. You can express it in feet by feet or in meter by meter depends upon your requirement. PVC is known as the initial point of the curve. PVC stands for point of the vertical curve. PVI is the intersection of the initial and the final grades. PVC stands for or PVI stands for point of the vertical intersection. PVT is the point where the curve returns to the final or equivalently or it is the final tangent. PVT stands for point of the vertical tangent. L is the length of the curve in stations, feet, or in meters measured in a constant elevation horizontal plane. You can see the details of the elements of the vertical curves in this slide that we have already discussed in previous slide. In the previous lectures, you have determined the elevation values of the curve at any point by using the parabolic equation. Similarly, highest and the lowest point of the crust and the sec vertical curves will be determined by taking the derivative of the parabolic equations. If the highest and the lowest point do not occur at the PVC and the PVT of the crust and the sec vertical curves, then you may determine the elevation values of the curve at any point by using the alternative technique that is offsets method. You can determine the offset at any point by using the equation 1 that is y equals to a divided by 200 l multiplied by the x square. Here y is the offset in feet and a is the absolute value of the difference in the grades that is g1 minus g2 in percentage and l is the length of the vertical curve in feet and x is the distance from the PVC in feet. You can determine the mid curve offsets by putting the value of x equals to L by 2 in equation 1 and you will get the value ym is equals to AL divided by 800. Similarly, you can determine the offset value at the end of the vertical curve by putting the value of x equals to L and you will get yf is equals to 
AL divided by 200. In the previous lectures, highest and the lowest point of the crust and the sec vertical curves were determined by taking the derivative of the parabolic equation. You can determine the highest and the lowest values of the curves by using an alternative technique that is K method. K values have an important application in the design of the vertical curves. K values give the length of the curve required to affect a 1% change in the slope. Mathematically, it can be written as L divided by A. Here L is the length of the curve in feet and A is the absolute value of the difference in grade that is G1 minus G2 expressed in percentages. You can determine the distance of the highest or the lowest point from the PVC of the crust or the sac vertical curves by using the value of k in equation that is x is equals to k multiplied by absolute value of the g1. In this equation it is mandatory to use the absolute or the positive value of the g1. So let's discuss the example. This example has been taken from the chapter 3 Geometric Design of Highways book name Principles of the Highway Engineering and Traffic Analysis written by Fred L. Mandring. A vertical curve crosses a 4 foot diameter pipe at right angles. The pipe is located at station 1110 plus 85 and its center line is at elevation of 1091.60 feet. The PVI of the vertical curve is at station 1110 and elevation 1098.4 feet. The vertical curve is equal to engine 600 foot long and connects an initial grade of 1.20% and a final grade of minus 1.08%. Using offsets determine the depth below the surface of the curve of the top of the pipe and determine the station of the highest point on the curve. You can see in this figure that vertical curve crosses the 4 feet diameter of the pipe at right angle. It means that it is a right angle triangle. This diameter, this pipe diameter crosses this curve at right angle triangle. The stationing of the pipe is 1110 plus 85 and the center line elevation of the pipe is 1091.60. The diameter of the pipe is 4 feet. If the diameter of the pipe is given, you can find the elevation of the top of pipe by adding the half of the diameter in the center line elevation of the pipe. That is 1091.60 plus 2 feet. You will get the elevation of the top of a pipe that is 1093.60 feet. Initial grade G1 expressed as B is 1.20 and the final grade G2 is minus 1.08. You can find out the absolute value of the difference of the grade that is G1 minus G2 that is 1.20 minus minus 1.08 and you will get your required answer that is 2.28. Stationing of the PVC is given that is 110 and the elevation of the PVA is given that is 1098.4 feet. Length of the curve is given that is 600 feet. For equal tangent vertical curve, distance between the PVC and the PVA is half of the length of the curve that is L by 2 or 300 feet. The distance between the PVI and the pipe can be found out by taking the stationing difference between the PVI and the pipe. That is 1110 plus 85 minus 1110 that is equals to 0 plus 85 stations or 0.85 stations. So the distance between 
PVC and this pipe is equals to 3.85 stations or 385 feet. You must find out the depth below the surface of the curve from the pipe by using this offset method. And the next thing is you have to find out the stationing of the highest point on the curve. To determine the depth, this depth below the surface of the curve, you must first find the elevation of this curve. Or you must find out the elevation value of the curve at that point where the pipe is crossing the crest curve. For this purpose, you will determine the elevation value of the initial tangent point and the offset value. This y is the offset value. The difference between the elevation of the initial tangent point and the offset value will give the elevation of the curve. And the difference between the elevation of the curve and the elevation of the top of the pipe will give you the depth between the below the surface of the curve. Next, you will find out the stationing of the highest point by using the K method. After determining the distance x from the K value, you can calculate the stationing of that point, that highest point from the PVC. So in this case, we have eight known parameters, that is diameter, stationing and the elevation of the pipe. And the next one is the initial and the final grades of the roadway. And the stationing and the elevation of the PVA is given and the length of the curve is given. And you would calculate the depth below the surface of the curve from the pipe top using offset method and the stationing of the highest point on the curve. You can see the solution outline in this flowchart. That is, you can determine the depth of the pipe by taking the difference between the elevation of the curve and the elevation of the top of the pipe. You can determine the elevation of the top of the pipe by adding the elevation of the center line of the pipe and the half diameter of the pipe. You can determine the elevation of the curve by taking the difference between the elevation of the initial tangent and the offset value. For the elevation of the initial tangent value, stationing and the elevation of the PVI value should be known. For the offset value, you can use the formula EL divided by 200. Equation A will be used to determine the elevation of the initial tangent above the pi. Equation A would be helpful only when you have the elevation value of the PVC. For this purpose, you will first find the stationing of the PVC. And then you can use this stationing value to determine the elevation value of the PVC. Slope equation for equal tangent vertical curve is the stationing of the PVI is equal to the stationing of the PVC plus half length of the curve. Substituting this value in this equation and after solving you will get your required stationing value of the PVC that is 107 stations. By using the elevation of the PVI you can determine the elevation of the PVC value. Substituting the values in this equation and you will get the elevation of the PVC that is 1094.4 feet values. The stationing difference between the PVC and the pipe as you have already calculated in figure that is 3.85 stations or 385 feet.
substituting the values in equation a and you will get the elevation of the initial tangent above the pi that is 1094.4 plus 1.20 multiplied by 3.85 and you will get the required answer that is 1099.42 feet then you will calculate the offsets above the pi by using the formula al by 200 and multiply by x square substitute the values in this equation and you will get the offsets above the pipe that is 2.82 feet the difference between the initial tangent value and the offset value above the pipe will give the elevation of the curve value that is 1096.6 feet you can also calculate the elevation of the curve value by using the parabolic equation that is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to the y and you will get the same answer that is 1096.6 feet but in this example it is mandatory for you to determine the elevation of the curve value by using the offsets method so you cannot consider parabolic equation in this example elevation of the top of the pipe can be calculated by adding the elevation of the center line and the half of the diameter of the pipe that is 1091.60 plus 2 is equals to 1093.60 feet the difference between the elevation of the curve and the elevation of the top of the pipe will provide the depth of the pipe below the curve that is 3 feet you can calculate the highest point on the curve from the pvc by using the k formula that is k is equal to l by a substituting the values in this equation and you will get your required answer that is 263.16 feet using this k value the highest point on the curve is calculated by using the formula xh is equals to k multiplied by g1 substituting the values in this equation and you will get your highest point on the curve that is at the stationing or at the at distance 315.79 feet This XH value can be used to calculate the stationing of the highest point or the stationing difference from the PVC by adding this XH value in the stationing of the PVC that is 107 plus 3 plus 15.79 and you will get the stationing of the highest point that is 1110 plus 15.79 feet. Thank you for your time.